What is up, everybody, and welcome back to Poe Town Heroes, your source for all your budget Pokemon needs. I'm Rhyhorn Trainer Steven. I'm Poke Scientist Sean. And with me on this side of the table, it's quite obvious that you have something fun for us today. Well, there's uh, I'm going to do it while we still have this Beedrill. Um, this Beedrill is the Beedrill that came out in Evolutions, kind of a change of the original. Yeah, and it is it is rotating in September with yeah, a lot of the other stuff. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to get it out while we still have it. Well, we don't know what the actual rotation is going to be, but it's I pretty safe to us. I, I assume it's going to be sun and moon on. Yep. But us, cause I don't think we'll be keeping this set, but if we do, Beedra will be fun. Beedra will be fun. Well, Beedra's still fun, but... Yeah, so, so we got Beedra, so what... What We're makes basing it so around awesome? Swarming Sting. It does 40 damage times the number of Beedrill you have in play to one of your opponent's Pokemon. <coughs> Wait, to any Pokemon? Yeah, that's up to 160 damage upon a sniping. <sighs> and all you have to do is get four Beedrills to the field. And it's just in play. It doesn't. It's not on bench like with uh, Passimian. On uh, well, they have to be on your Beedrills have to be on your field, but. But yeah, you they just don't pick one of their Pokemon to hit for 160. Yeah, well, even then with Passimian, it has you have to have one active, and yes. it only does more for each on bench. So that's actually a little bit better. Yeah, and it's only two and energy. That's you know really how good. this works? Well, we got this nice little multiply. It's a grass uh, frogadier. Ooh, multiply. Put three Kakuna and put them onto the bench. That is really good. That pretty much sets you up for Beedrill's next turn. Yeah, you have four Kakunas on the field. Up to four, because you're going to be prize, and, well, you'll know which ones they are or not. Yeah. And, of course, this one helps you get basically one more turn before, because Sudden Sting evolved from a Kakuna this turn, Paralyze and Poison. And 10 one damage. More turn. That's not bad. So, basically, essentially 20 in Paralysis. That's really good. And our only ex and then Vulpix is just there to be Vulpix. You have to grab out any Pokemon that we need. And Shinnok, because all your Pokemon are grass. Search out a grass Pokemon. Would be, and chance are it's going to be either a Weedle, a Kakuna, or Beedrill. Yeah. That that actually is a really, really good, solid deck idea. And then, how do we get this to work? Well, oh, well, Rare Candy helps out a lot. Especially that when you've already gotten your Kakunas out and all you have are Weedles out. Got to get them to Beedrill somehow. Mm -hmm. Rescue Stretcher, because a lot of your Beedrills have a lot fewer hit points than they should. They only have 120. So they'll probably be picked off fairly easily. So you could pull one back, Rare Candy, another Beedrill, go. Or Kakuna. Very nice. And she and Oxen get to go grab them whenever you need them out of the deck. Oh, Cynthia, because Cynthia is Cynthia. And this well, is the full art that we got from you guys. Very nice. Yes, and again, thank you guys so much hand, for the full art. Hand refresh. Guzma, so you can pick a target. Or if you got like a Lele on the bench and you actually want to hit it for 190, and you can drag it to the active and knock it out. Although, can, do you actually add uh, add damage or add the, the plus 30 if you were to hit something on the bench? How they know, because they have to be active. Okay. That's why you use the Guzma, bring up to the active, or bring up a Pokemon that's, let's say, a Regigigas that is not, the Mux shot not there yet, or... Uh, or yeah. you find a way to stall out. All right, yeah. so what's our lines? What what do we got We're for doing lines? We're doing a 2-2 Sheonotic, because Sheonotic just help you get out Grass Pokemon. We're doing a 4-4, 4-4, 3-1 Beedrill, one Beedrill, the new one, and one Vulpix. Okay. And 12 grass energy, that's pretty much standard. One recycler, because I have, because I'm focused on the, what, what's coming up and rotations and stuff. I'm trying to keep stuff in rotation so I don't have to change much out. Right, and especially with, uh, with Sylveon Mill, uh, with a lot of mill decks kind of showing up in the rogue, this at least buys you a turn or two just in case. Yes. Recycler, field board to get off. Uh, choice one's not going to be a problem, but 
You then with full stones getting away from your attacks could be a problem. Yeah, escape, get, you can get rid of escape boards so they can't get out of paralysis. And we're running two of those? Yeah. Right. And st stadiums, of course. Nest ball for extra weedles or moralos. All right. and then or bullpucks the, that's eluding you. Two, two rare candy. Okay. Because you're running a very heavy line, but the rare candy is just in case all you have is left is weedles to evolve from. Okay. Ultra ball just to help out Sheonotic. After two Sheenocks are on the field, which you you pretty much that means the other car, four cards are Beedrills. Exactly. So, Ace Rollers, so you can pick up a Beedrill and keep going. Put down Beedrill on an open Kakuna, or rare candy into the Weedle, and then continue. Definitely can't go wrong. Uh, three Cynthia. Including the full art. We got three Guzma, three Ilima. And two six Sophocles, just to keep moving through the deck. And yep. two escape boards because paralysis hurts. Yes, paralysis does. Even hurt. if you have free retreat, paralysis still hurts. That's another nifty thing about Beedrill. Free retreat. Yes. So you're not going to be stuck in the active for too long. Yeah, so that just gets around paraly or paralysis and. Yeah. Okay. Paralysis and asleep. All right, so yeah, let's just. Let's play it. Yeah, let's jump right in. Versus. So yeah, this deck is definitely definitely looks like it's uh it's definitely a fun looking deck. Uh, what did I name it? Vidro. Vidro. Yep. Just kept it simple. Yes. But yeah, it it looks like it'll set up pretty fast. It'll hit pretty fast, pretty hard. I I definitely can't wait to see this thing in action. Don't tell me nothing. Oh, probably just Garco coin. Oh, it's just a colorless. Yeah, sure. Because we're not attacking first turn unless we have open up with Vulpix. Oh, that works. Weedle work. <laughs> I'm hoping to top deck a Kakuna, but then we can always just get a loaded bench and then evolve with the first one, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, because we could either 60 turn two. Yeah, we could 60 turn two or. 10, Paralyze, and Poison, turn 3. Nest Ball? Let's get out of the Vulpix. Yeah, you'll see this a lot. I like I like Vulpix. Yeah, it really is like a good budget staple. You get to search your deck for two uh, two Pokemon and put them right into your hand. Yeah. That's that's your next turn setup. And if, any, if anything else, you're forcing an end play, so... Mm -hmm. All right, so we got Orangaroo. So what are we up against? So far, it looks like Psychic Orangaroo. Like, they're actually trying to use it offensively. Garchomp. 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 I, I featured, I thought, I thought so when the coin was a Garchomp coin. Although, why, why would they attach onto the Orangaroo? Maybe they're only attacker. They're only Pokemon. Oh, the, oh by the looks of it, it's the retreat. Um... Let's just beacon. Yeah, let's just beacon. Kuna. If Vulpix gets knocked out, oh well. I don't want. I don't need the Vulpix at this moment in time. No, we just we're just. I actually to like that energy more than the Vulpix, but the Vulpix just helps us get set up. It does. Let's see what we're doing. So what you got for it? He's actually going to try to knock it out. Well, I'll probably just paralyze poison immediately. But they can always evolve into a Kakuna. We know, that, we know what this does, right? Opens up a bench spot that we can use for a Kakuna. That is right. So, so let's get that out there. So mm -hmm. what do you think we should do? Uh, Kakuna, I would, or? I would say Kakuna. Because if anything else, we can still poison. He can't knock, it us, knock us out unless we... We'll be throwing on energy. I would Sophocles getting rid of a. I would get rid of a stretcher and a B drill. Bring back uh, the B drill with the stretcher. Yeah. That way we get four cards. Oh look at yeah, that! Yeah, there's the Shinosic. There's the energy. And we can save it for next turn. Yep, we can pull out a second B drill. We can. We can put the whole line back in. Yeah. So let's let's that's get some multi Kakuna. That's multiply. Oh, uh, we have one prize. We even then, that's still like far more than what what we need. Yeah. 
Because we got the rare we, kit. We can always stretch these back and have yep. fun. Plus, we already got one B drill that oh, we screw can. Screw you, Buzzwell. You're you're first. That that that's our target. And that's why we got Guzma in the deck. Yeah, because Buzzwell's within range. Buzzwell is within range. Congrats, sir. So now we just need to get some B drills going, like ASAP. Uh, yep. Let's do that. Let's get the method. Method of my madness. Why not a Vidra? So I'm thinking. Because then you Vidra, you should uh, use a Cernosic, bring out another Vidra, and then Ilima? Or Ilima, and then do that. Of course. Yeah, of course, the Guzma. Of course, I can't get the Sudden Sting when I need it. Got all the Vidras. No, but we can at least... I got two turns, so before they're hitting at dreadful ranges. So it's only doing sixty. Yep. Okay. Why no energy? I have twelve in the deck. I don't know, it's, it's really, really weird because we shouldn't we shouldn't be running into an energy drain with what twelve, 12? energy? Yeah, we've only seen one. Yeah, of the entire, entire game, and I discarded it for retreat. No, oh, two. two. Let's at least I would say Guzma up the buzz walls, offer up a Weedle. I don't want him getting a free attack. Maybe a Gibble? Still she and on it. He'll still need to. Well, he he's he's still retreating. Let's see. Might be giving up a Weedle. Yeah, that way we have to force him to either play his switch, play his Guzma, or. Or actually, energy retreat in order to get. Well, let's see what he does. Because he could switch or Gu he can play switch Guzma escape rope and force the switch. Yeah, Elima tends to work better for me in real life. Than he's not. Does. Yeah, he's not going to do the energy retreat because he put just put it on Buzzwall. Yes. Come on. Give us something good. Heads. Heads. Tails? Yeah. Okay. Hey, at least we got tails on him. At, at least we got one. I would... Yeah. At least set it up. We I can't attach energy yet. Yeah, we can at least knock out... Start knocking out his, his lower stuff. Leave that Ralt active. I mean, you still have the Kakuna in the deck. Yep. Well, that, that Weedle has for your treat, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, exactly. So we, uh, wait. Oh, you need two energy to use it. Okay. Oh, if it were one, it would be amazing. True. But I think it would have been played more also. Also true. So that Buzzwall is definitely our target. That's, that's the thing we're working to try to get knocked out. I just hope we can get another choice band to get it to work. I think we had all Beedrills, we just had three Kakunas in the deck. 
So that's at least four, eight, twelve. We I can at least knock out the Oranguru. We could knock out. We could start lining up knockouts. So I would Shinosik try to pull out either another Kakuna or another Beedrill. Also, at least force the Beedrills to the field. Yeah. Really? The prize of the Beedrill. Our prize is Beedrill. So let's go get our, our Beedrill out of the prizes. Grab the Shinosik. Let's get, get those out of there. Energy the Beedrill, retreat the Weedle. And then let's at least pick off everything except for the Buzzwall and hopefully leave that as our last target. Because even then, 120 is still a good chunk of change. Oh, yeah. Of course, there's a Weedle. Yeah, and Gladi, when you're running of this heavy list, running a Gladi could help too, especially when you're missing your main attacker. One of your... One of your main attackers. Yeah, Gladium would definitely help in this list. So no matter what, we have to two shot the Buzzwell until we find it. That Gibble, that Gibble's next, or Gabite's next. Yes, Gabite is definitely next. Oh, he now knows we're going for the swing, and so he has to actually finish off the Beedrill. Now, is he going? What's his GX do? It just he's going to have to go for it. He's not going to do the. G he can knock out with Knuckle Impact. Otherwise, just watch his uh, Pokemon just fall. I'm almost, also, the, a lot, a lot of the full of the deck's not where it's supposed to be. Is there anything coming out in uh, Forbidden Light that might be able to pump this up a little bit? I am not sure, actually. I always go short shot for the other one. Of course, now I get it. So I can. Oh, I can't ace. Yeah, I can't ace the roller. Let's get the energy back to the deck. So now, let's see. We can't use Sudden Sting. We can at least get that other B drill ready to go. Maybe retreat that one, offer up, uh, I was going to say either uh, Weedle or Shinosik, since we already got a Shinosik on the on the board. I was kind of hoping it would go back in, but it came back. I know. With the, so I can just search out with it. Is there anything we can pull out of the deck with Shinosik right now? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, we, need, we need that. Yeah, we need the stretcher. So we'll give him the turn. Yep. Because he has to wait a turn anyways. Oh, you can attack the no, next turn? No, knuckle impact. He can't, he can't attack. So he has to retreat. So probably retreat to guard chomp. But that, hmm, that's different. But what does Toucan you do? can burn if it... And it says the echoed voice for DCE. You can hit like 100, 120. First turn it hits for a 50 or 60, and then the next turn it hits double damage. Until you can stop the A Good Voice. But he won't be able to attack unless he retreats, so. And yeah. he didn't play Cynthia, so all he's doing is picking off Weedle. Which, do have 50 hit points, which is another problem with Weedle. Yeah, it is. There was a better Weedle in Primal Clash, but that's in Primal Clash, not standard. The, Break, Weedle it, can search for other Weedles. Mm -hmm. uh, he's going for Cynthia. For a fun legacy Probably deck, if, Weedle does... He's not going for Cynthia. He just played Shauna. Did he? I believe he did. Yeah, he played Shauna. Or the, Shauna was the last time he played something. So he's probably either going to pass turn. I doubt he's going to try to retreat into the guard charm. Yeah. He figures he's safe. There's no Pokemon in the deck. Let's try an Ilma. See if we can get the... Uh, yeah, we need... We need... We need Stretcher. Yes. Come on, heads. 
We got the Ultra Ball and the Energy now. All right. Oh. It does have a better flow rate than this. I should have just poked it just to poison it. Yeah, we could have done that. Um, hold on. There's a part of me that wants to switch because even then, four eight, we could knock, knock out either the gabite or um, knock out the gabite or the pika pack. At yes. least get a prize, have a better shot of grabbing the uh, the thing. Although he would knock us out next. Uh, uh, if this next is turn, tough one. yeah. Either way, Weedle's gone. Weedle's gone this turn. Yes. That much we already kind of knew. It was and either. If he did, it, and if he, he's probably again for Cynthia now. Yeah, it was either going to be a Weedle or it was going to be a B drill. Hopefully, it was going to be the Weedle. There's the Garchomp. He's probably just going picking out pieces until he has to actually play Shauna, or uh, Cynthia's. I think so. So either we're going to win this very, very clutch. We might win this very clutchly. You what? Energy on the Beedrill? I got an idea. Energy on the Beedrill. Retreats into uh, that one. Because he's going to try to knock it out next turn anyway. Yep, so let's at least get a 60 on. Because now, worst case scenario, he knocks out that Beedrill, he knocks out that Weedle, that's two prizes, we come back with a 40... No. Nope. He laughs it off. Nope. It is not working for us this game. No, it's not. I can... That buzz wall is very devastating. Uh, that's why it's been doing... It's been, yeah, I could it, probably throw N back in because, well, it would help. It would have helped us out quite a bit more. And to be fair, N we wrote hang about the same time Beedrill will, so it's not going to be hurt hurting the deck much. That's true. To be f and same with Re uh, Super Rod. Do we want to make some quick adjustments before the next game? Well, let's see if we can get it going one once more. And two prizes. Let's get the free retreater up there. If anything else. I got energy for days. Now we got energy. Ha. Except we can't pull a single card we need. Why do I have 50? I can swing for 40 right now. Fine. Yeah, something tells me we're not going to win this one as much as I wanted us to. So he's probably going to do the, the knuckle impact. Just go for the one shot. Because it does 150. or one, one, 160, but... Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, he's going for a bigger hit. Yes. Retard him. Oh, okay. Um, try again. Yeah, let's let's try again. I th well, I could have gone for the donk really early. And just gone right for the gibble. Just got right. We well, should right have. immediately. We should have. I was trying for a different different approach, and, and it failed. Sometimes, as often or as as cool as the other approach works. It's the faster we can get knockouts, the better. During tournament, I would have gone for the knockout. Yes. I think we need to fo go into that mindset of yes. this is tournament. Let's knock everything out as fast as possible. He lost the coin flip. Whatever shall we do? Lead with, lead with Vulpix. Oh. High hopes. Didn't happen. I, that's actually not a bad... Not a bad turn one.
depending on the energy draw. Guardy. Different Guardy. Guardy box. Fairy box. So now let's see. Let's field blower, get rid of that uh get rid of that thing now. Let's Ultra Ball getting rid of Field Blower. Go away, Sophocles. I was actually thinking playing the Sophocles. I'm I I'm, I'm tired of Sophocles. Okay. Of, of the last game, I have scars from it. Okay. Because <laughs> we have a better support to use. Energy Weedle, Cynthia. Let's hope we get more Weedles and maybe. No, this is still turn one. No, <laughs> this is still turn one. Darn. Well, let's poke it then. Yeah, we can at least poison it. It's Geomancy, so it's just going to accelerate the energy. <laughs> I want to drag it up there. No, you can't do that. <sighs> Darn. We're, we're not the kind of players that uh, Versif or Versify uh, tries to hit us with. <laughs> Darn. We'll just multiply next time. Next turn or whatever. Which actually won't be a bad. Sheanotic. Yeah, Sheanotic. Weedle search and for another. Search for another Weedle and then line the bench out with Kakuna. We're actually getting our pretty... Oh, yeah, let's see, let's see. All the beetles are full, in. We have full lines. Maybe that's why it wasn't working. All, everything, Something was prized. And, and because something was prized, obviously it doesn't work. I, I would energy Kakuna. I oh, I'm gonna, well, I was thinking more of the, uh, oh. Yeah, he could potentially get the knockout next turn. Yeah, put it onto the Weedle then. Solid. Very solid. Yeah, let's multiply. And I think Guardy... Who's gonna have to be our our bigger, our bigger threat? You have points mainly. So yeah, let's. Almost everything is and not else is within range. If we play comfy, we won't we won't have uh, conditions to work with. As long as Geomancy, we're fine. Yeah, we'll we'll let him Geo. Cause... Top deck Guzma. Darn. No, but fine. We, we gotta be. Oh, you got two B drills, three B drills in play already. Uh, do we want to make? Yeah, but yeah, let's do that one. No, let's do that one on the bench. We'll do this B drill active. That way, we at least get the the paralyze. Since we evolved yes. from a cocoon of this turn. Holy crap. So this is actually working? So he can Geomancy. Put a or let's give him a smile. And besides, he thinks it was close. Another what, what, another hey, smile, because we got a hey, good day. Pokemon, why don't you invent a uh, uh, thank you function in the So we got to communicate? So yes, now hey, let's but... let's start uh working on that guardy. Because uh, it's 4, 8, 12, that's 16. That's 160. I can start picking up. We had to be careful with this one. And unfortunately, thing is with, with uh, Swarming Sting, I think the most it could do would be, uh, if it allows it, 40. What do you mean? Because Swarming Sting does it for a number of Beedrill. By technicality, there are no Beedrill. So unless Metronome says for one Beedrill... Counts itself as one at that time for metronome. Well, yeah, because it's B drill or it's uh, B drill U control, right? Yeah. All right, so let's get the, the next B drill ready to go. That's all our kunas are evolved. Yeah, we we just need to just keep attacking. So swarming sting. Let's... So actually, this deck could probably run alone Coco just for the late game sweeps. Just 
picking everything off it, at it, the final bit. It possibly could. Or Tensai, get to poke, poke, poke. <laughs> Double all damage. Although, I'm actually really glad, uh, or looking at this deck, um, I'm now really glad Wide Lens isn't legal. If Wide Lens were legal, I have a nasty little deck play I want to do. Involving but, to Promo the... Arceus and Necrozma. And then Arceus to those... can turn itself to any one type. And then that Necroza hits all EX and GXs for 100 damage apiece. You're evil. With a, with this a, is why with you're a Proton Hero. Weakness, I'm like, what? Ooh, White ooh, Lens ooh, catcher, said... catcher, catcher. What's he got? Okay. Stalling. So he's going to stall for the Shirosic. Well, so, a skateboard we get, we energy. Get, we get our prize in a couple of turns. Um, Next turn? Hey, there's a nice target. If only it can, can do more than 50 damage. Or 40. He's going for the other attack, though. That would not be a... We knew this sooner. That would have been fun. If we're healed. So let's escape board. Energy. Retreat. Yep. I'll just let, I'll just let that Geomancy go away. Yeah, well... It, Any energy? Nope. We, we got one energy. So let's take out this guy. Poke 160. Poke 160. And then when it comes back to our turn, that Xerneas is going to be knocked out unless he retreats. So let's, let's smile. Tell him he's got a good deck because it really is a good deck. We just managed to... So he's going to rainbow... Sp you can't really go for the knockout. He's going to retreat on the last little bit. What are you going to do? Sing? Metronome. What's he metronoming? Those are copies of attack damage, too. Of any Pokemon to play, right? Oh. Wait. 30 in poison? 30 uh, poison. He copied Beedra. Yeah, it was the only attack he could actually have copied. And he skipped. On the retreat. On the retreat. Well. That's actually how the Beedrill is supposed to run. Full on a Beedrill, poking everything that's a threat. You only need Choice Band if you want to hit the active. That's what we're trying to do with that Buzzwall, but it didn't happen. No, no. Buzz, Buzzwall is one of those that once it oh, gets going... Two-shotting everything for 160, any, anywhere it is on the field. Yeah. The only problem... Oh. Do we want to do... Do we want to do one more? Do well, you we think... kind of showcase what it's supposed to do. Yeah, it kind of showed the Versus validity. Versus on a deck, and then kind of derped on the deck, and then then actually had a good showcase. Right, I th I think that's a pretty good showcase because that's pretty much all it is: is you load up on Beedrills and then you just start sniping targets. Um, it can it's it is very gimmicky. It is very um. Yeah, it doesn't like Mr. Mime. Doesn't like Machoke, but yeah, anything that protects the bench, it's not going to do that much. Uh, anything that um. It's low HP, definitely slows it down. Um, but it still is a really fun deck, and I highly suggest trying to play it while yeah. while it's still in format. It's it's quite hilarious. And then even then, if you don't uh, play it in standard, definitely something that's gonna that's gonna make an appearance in expanded. Yes. Cause it'll and is wide is wide lens in expanded currently? Yeah. Because they were in standard, I'd be playing Necrozma. Yep, so uh, anything, so to those who are unaware of what Wide Lens does, that uh, if you, when you, it's a Pokemon tool, you attach it, uh, any attacks to the bench hit for weakness or resistance. So you got something I'm that's one weak to- I'm one rocks on the bench. Yep, anything weak to grass, you are one-shotting on the bench. Because, really? and you're hitting for weakness on the bench, which is really, you know really that, good. You got the uh, Blast Wave, you need to go- poke right off you got the Keldeo poke it right off the field yep so this thing is definitely going to be a monster come expanded um standard it's it's definitely a fun deck to play uh especially for like newer players who are just trying to get into the game you still have some of the older cards that were donated slash given to yeah uh this deck is going to be really easy to put together really easy to play um but yeah uh this this deck is really really good. You always come up with something janky or 
or fun and gimmicky. Tune in next week, I got another one. <laughs> so yeah, you. All right, so you you show us what we got next week, and then I. Uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Become a Poe Town hero yourself. Uh, be sure to hit us up on PTCGO. We are Poe underscore town underscore heroes. And also hit us up on Facebook, facebook.com slash Poe Town Heroes. As always, may all your games go well and may the top deck be in your favor. Till next time.